Hello everyone. So welcome back to another video of Before Tying a Knot. This is a pre-marriage coaching video series. In the last video, I gave you uh, one uh, exercise, small exercise that you had to write down why you are getting married and what are your reasons behind taking this decision. So many people must think, must be thinking that uh, why it's so important everybody gets married in the world. So why I should write down all these things. So let me give you an example for that. Your parents or your relatives are forcing you to go for uh, engineering and you are not really interested in doing engineering. But then uh, you take this decision of doing engineering because you are not able to say uh, no to them and to please them you go for engineering. And do you think that you will put your 100% out there? Of course not. If you are not willing, your heart is not there then definitely you are not going to put your 100% and you are not going to get the results also. Uh, you Maybe you are you will get engineering degree as such, but it won't help you that much. So um, the same applies to uh, marriage. If you are not 100% uh, convinced about your own decision, maybe your parents or your relatives, your friends will suggest you to get married. But then ultimately it's you who are going to decide because it's your life. Let me give you another example. When I got married to my husband, it was a love marriage and my parents were against it completely. And they said that uh, we are disapproving this uh, boy because he is not of our ca caste. But then that time I uh, stood for my decision. I said it is my life. And uh, I think it's fair enough that I am making a decision for my life because ultimately uh, I am the one who is going to face the consequences. So uh, I need to take a decision for my life. And that time I said, even if I get divorced tomorrow, it doesn't matter. But I want to experience it and I want to test it whether my decision is right or wrong. I told my own self that I am taking this decision and it is uh, my 100% responsibility. That is why I think that uh, I was putting my 100% to make my decision uh, successful. Life becomes great when you make your decision which are based on your own uh, instincts or your value system. So exactly what we are going to learn in this video. So in this video, I'm going to give you a small exercise today again. <laughs> so you have to write down uh, things about you uh, from four different perspectives. Like you have to write down first, uh, who are you? What you think who you are? Okay, write down all those things. Then you have to write down uh, from your parents uh, perspective and your colleagues uh, perspective and your friends perspective what they will speak about you what they think you are okay so i don't you don't have to ask them what you think about me and all that no you just uh, based on your assumptions you write down things uh, what you think you are like for example you ask me then I might write that I am a very lovable person and I'm a very kind person, I'm compassionate, I'm energetic, I'm enthusiastic and whenever, uh, whatever I do in my life, I put my 100%. So I am that go-getter and achiever. So that is what I think about me. If you ask my parents, they will say some things about me. I mean, uh, you write it down for yourself. You don't have to ask your parents or friends or uh, colleagues you write uh, your own things from their perspective and at the end of the uh, exercise you tally all those things together then you come up with an answer uh, which resonates with you with your soul okay what exactly you are so uh, i uh, want you to write uh, not just a few words but write full page initially once you start writing you might feel stuck but what to write, who am I exactly? So you might feel stuck, but start writing and then eventually you'll figure out who you are, okay? So, and first of all, let me tell you, don't write things like I am MBA person, I'm 32 years old or 
uh, you know don't don't uh, write all those things those are things which you have acquired that is not what you are okay uh, so who you are is your qualities human qualities you must be kind you are lovable or you may be you know uh, well disciplined well mannered well cultured whatever it is but you write human qualities that is what you are because ultimately when we are going to uh, lead this costume then that time you know uh, ultimately it doesn't matter what is your degree or uh, what caste you belong to or anything like that it doesn't matter it is all acquired but who you are is going to stay in our heart because you know when i leave my body other relatives will say okay maithili was very kind person and she was very lovable and all that human qualities they'll talk about human qualities they are not going to talk about she was my physio and all that no so i want you to write down all your physical all your um qualities the the qualities which what represents you and uh, you write down all those qualities which resonate you and then in the next video i'll talk about the value system so i'll explain you better so i'll see you in my next video bye bye see you